Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on bacteria. Our objectives for today's lesson, number one, what are the common characteristics that all bacteria share? Number two, describe the major groups that scientists use to classify bacteria. And number three, how do bacteria obtain food and reproduce? So let's start with the common characteristics all bacteria share. All bacteria are microscopic. That means that we can't see them with our naked eye. We need a microscope or some tool to magnify those uh, bacteria. They are unicellular. That means that they are made of one cell or they're single-celled organisms. And they are prokaryotes, which means that they do not have membrane-bound organelles or they, they do not have a membrane-bound nucleus. Bacteria do have a very rigid cell wall, uh, similar to plant cells, uh, but obviously they're not plants. However, the cell wall does serve the same purpose. It's for protection and to give the cell more structure. Bacteria belong to one of two kingdoms, and they all belong to one domain. They belong to the bacteria domain, and they fall in either the eubacteria kingdom or the archaebacteria kingdom, which we'll talk about both in this lesson today. Bacteria can also be either harmful or helpful when it comes to uh, healthy ecology and when it comes to uh, whether or not they um, give disease or not to other organisms such as humans. They, in general, all produce asexually, and they are either aerobic or anaerobic. What does that mean? Aerobic means that they need oxygen in order to survive, whereas anaerobic means that they do not need oxygen. And lastly, all bacteria uh, have one of, they either have one of three shapes. They either are rod-shaped, spiral-shaped, or sphere-shaped. If they're rod-shaped, they have a special name, and they are uh, called bacilli bacteria. If they are spiral-shaped, they have a special name. They're called spirilla bacteria. And if they're sphere-shaped, which means that they're round, they are called cocci bacteria. And here are a picture of the different shapes, the spirilla, the bacilli, and the cocci. Let's talk about the structure of a bacterial cell. The bacterial cell has no membrane-bound nucleus or other membrane-bound organelles because it is a prokaryote. The cytoplasm, which is the jelly-like fluid inside of the cell, contains ribosomes, and ribosomes are organelles uh, that make proteins for the bacterial cell. The ribosomes do contain RNA, which is the hereditary material found in bacterial cells. And bacterial cells have structures which help uh, it to protect itself. Um, they have a cell membrane, they have a cell wall, and they have a gelatin capsule. Finally, bacterial cells can have certain structures which help them to move, such as pili, the flagella, and the slime layer. Here is a diagram of a typical bacteria cell, and again, we have um, some hereditary material here. We have the cytoplasm, which fills up the bacterial cell in the middle. Um, we have uh, ribosomes, which are these little dots here all around. Those ribosomes 
make the protein. Uh, we also have this green layer which is representative of the cell membrane. Then outside of that, this yellow layer would be representing the cell wall. It's more rigid. And then finally, we have outside of that, the red layer called the gelatin capsule. And then outside of that, we may have some structures called pili, which again help the bacterial cell to move in its environment. And we could have a bacterial cell, also could have what we call a flagella, which is similar to a whip or a tail, which help it to move also.